With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Here a question is give differences between simple and compound leaves and second is reticulate and dilatation. Let's start with simple and compound leaves. In case of simple leaves, there are no leaf base present. There is only one single leaf. Every petiole consists of only one single leaf. Whereas in case of compound leaves, a cluster of leaves is present. It means more number of leaves are present. In case of simple leaf, there are no leaf beds. Because only single leaf is present, therefore no leaflets are present. Whereas in case of compound leaves, leaflets are present. In simple leaf, the leaf is directly attached to stem through petiole. Here occurs petiole in between leaf and stem. Whereas in case of compound leaves, midribs of different leaves attached with the petioles then this petiole is further attached to stem right here it is more clear from the diagram from the image that i have this is the image of both simple and compound leaf this is simple leaf and this is compound leaf here we can see that there is only single leaf whereas in case of compound leaves leaflets are present and here Midribs are joined to petiole and then this main petiole is attached to stem. Whereas in case of simple leaf, the midrib is directly attached to stem, pro petiole. But here the different midribs combine to form a main petiole and then this main petiole attached to stem. Fine. The simple leaves are present in large trees like people mango, banyan tree, whereas compound leaves are present in neem. We have seen that in case of neems, there is presence of leaves in this way. Fine. Now let's come upon our second part that is difference between reticulate venation and parallel venation. Before discussing, let's have a look at the diagram. This is the image of leaf with reticulate venation and this is the leaf with Parallel venation. Here we can see that in case of reticulate venation, the veins are present in net like that. Whereas in case of parallel venation, the veins run parallel to each other. Here we can see that one vein is attached to other vein at several points. Whereas in case of parallel venation, one vein and second vein attached only at the base. Fine. These are the differences main differences in appearance and second is reticulate venation is present in dipod plants whereas parallel venation is present in monopod plants example of plants having di uh, reticulate venation are mango banyan and the plants having parallel venation are maize mainly grasses all grasses have parallel venation Fine. These are the differences in the given terms. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.